Hey guys, so I finally found a materialist explanation for the clown or trickster archetype that people see. So this one actually comes from a pretty interesting person. Like I've had very interesting conversations with him and he pretty much talks over people's head most of the time because like he, he uses a lot of terminology that people air or and language that people don't really understand and including me so like I have to read over his uh, comments and stuff like that over and over just to sort of get the idea of it but he from what I can gather he is he is a materialist but like he's a very deep and spiritual one uh, like judging from his uh, his comments and stuff like that like he I I at least think that he believes in some sort of like meaning to things um, but he doesn't really uh, he doesn't really entertain synchronicity from what I've read. But now, I know some people find it boring when I do this and sort of just read over a uh, specific thread that I made, but this one's really important, so I'll try to make it as, like, uh, engaging as possible. Like, I'll make, like, a, t a text thing so you can sort of follow it, but I'll start reading now. So, last night I took four hits of LSD, and once the peak was starting to come down, I smoked DMT and had a vision of a morph a morphing pattern place that looked only semi circusy This is my trip, by the way. This happened four days ago, or almost five days ago, actually. So, uh, once the place started to fade, I had a last wave goodbye by some entity that was, uh, some by some entity in the background, uh, was fading to black, and it, and its face was being layered with multiple uh, images, which were taking their turn, being in front and pushing other images aside to make way. <coughs> I was able to make out a few of the elements of the figure, like uh, what the images was, it, what images it was composed of, and I plainly saw a Joker, specifically the Batman cartoon one and the drama mask, which was which were fighting to be the first image and could push each other aside. I made a small depiction of the images uh, off the internet, and it looks almost exactly what, like what I saw. Then the come down, I had plenty of images in my eye of the Joker and playing cards. I should mention that I have a reasonably successful YouTube channel which is dedicated partly towards investigating the clown and jester archetype because it was rumored to occur with people and I wanted to find out if uh, I wanted to find out more and get the information out to a wider audience. Um, this was later confirmed as I've had many people commenting on my page and reporting that they have experienced a jester or clown in some form or another. Uh, now this part gets uh, now this part is important because the main uh, reoccurring elements that people are reporting is that the the jester often appears in checkered black and white background, as most people on my channel have reported. They have also reported a jack in the box type representation representations of the jester as well as drama, mask, uh, drama masks being associated with it. Lastly, they also report, uh, report playing card type archetypes which go along with the Jester archetype. If needed, I can compile all the comments which verify these uh, reoccurring patterns, though I will just leave you with one report that will, uh, that this thread, uh, so that this thread doesn't drag on too long. So this is a quote from Shroomery, it's, it's a guy called Gene Guy Masta. And it says, so recently I had this pretty intense go with DMT. I had, I had a hard time remembering what I saw. The only thing I remember is this clown, Joker face. Not exactly like the pic, but pretty similar. Didn't feel like the entity, though. It was moving with all the psychedelic pattern around it in this weird dimension I was. The only thing I remember from hyperspace... Uh, heard about aliens and Buddhas and stuff, but shit, clowns and chessboard patterns. I remember I was in a place where everything was moving psychedelic pattern. There were no walls, just uh, moving psychedelic pattern with chessboard texture and black and white in the background. Everything was like a neck of the Joker in the pick, but with black instead of red, like a chessboard. And it was spinning a lot, like these things went crazy, uh, crazy pretty fast. After that, I pressed the brakes because it was getting too intense, and all I was seeing was the spinning lottery machine, but it was with psychedelic dimensions going in front of my eyes. I uh, was wondering if anybody saw the Joker. Damn, DMT is a hell of a drug. Jesus.
Now I'm bringing all of this up because recently I came ac uh, across a post called Red Ge Green Vine, which is the guy that I was talking about previously. And he was responding to a thread where someone asked about the clown archetype as it was mentioned in Rich Strassman's book, The Spirit Molecule. So Red Green Vine gave a interesting theory as to what is causing the phenomenon, but personally I feel like it does not address the details or the archetypes that seem to accompany this phenomenon. It seems like his explanation would make sense if a clown figure, which might imply meaning, is the only thing that uh, people are seeing. But through these reports, uh, there's clear, clearly other reoccurring elements which might have symbolic meaning associated with it. I feel like his assessment is vastly, is vastly speculative and largely dismissive. So this is the thread that he made. So he was, uh, I'll, I'll tell you when he's quoting the guy that uh, he was responding to in the thread. So the guy he was responding to is called Long Strange Trip 8. So the quote he said was, I'm currently reading DMT, The Spirit Molecule, great book, and I and have noticed that uh, Jung's theories of archetypes are extremely similar to the context of a DMT trip. And his concepts of symbols are equally uh, ap uh, applicable. Uh, and so this is what Red Green Vine says. There are patterns that these guys are picking up on, which are common. However, their theories are somewhat crackpot. Uh, people have been fascinated with ideas, forms, and symbolic meaning since the, before symbolic language. My take on it is a coll collative. Uh, co collective. Collective is close and associative. Simply stated, if you have several images with the same idea in them, and you can align them over each other like a translucent slide, you will end up uh, with a composite archetype or symbol. So you have associated many individual ideas and made a collective symbol that blends all of them together, common features being enlarged and enhanced while other ones becoming blended into the noise of the background uh, to the figure. Keep this in mind when we discuss the clown or trickster. And then Long Strange Trip's other quote that he responded to is, says, uh, for example, the book mentions how people often feel like they are in rooms or experience traveling to different places. This seems similar to a dream, and if uh, Jung believes that different room settings in a dream represent different parts of the mind associated with different feelings. And then Red Green Vine replies and says, memory links all the scenes uh, all the sense channels together for events that happen together in one moment and links a series of moments together in one passage. When you remember something, you recall a tableau from fragmentary triggers, pieces of sensation or ideas that were in the room, and the rest of the room coalesces around that, while the memory of the room gels. Similar or adjacent uh, moments also coalesce. The gestalt of the memory is like a room, but more than a room, it is like a dimension of that room, like place with other similar rooms flickering nearby. As with all memory, pieces of the memory are distributed through the cortex, or throughout the cortex. Rooms are not physically sequestered, i.e. they cannot be surgically removed and, ex and excised for, uh, by excising a cluster of cells from the brain. And then Long Strange Trip 8 said, uh, I have noticed that the content of DMT trips often contain Jungian archetypes, one being the trickster, which is common for people to experience clowns, jesters, and other carnival-like beings on, on a DMT trip. <laughs> uh, people often experience shadow beings, which of course uh, coincides with uh, Jung, uh, Jung's idea of the shadow. Jung is totally appropriate, and then, yeah, sorry, um, uh, this is what re Red Green, Green Vine uh, comments and replies to after that quote. Uh, he says, uh, Jung is totally appropriating mythology without actually proposing anything. Although in appropriating and appreciating what there is, he does a great job of pointing the way to something interesting. In any case, big-lipped, red-nosed, goofy eyes and, hairs, uh, and hair with oversized buttons is exactly what you would get when you create a layered image of a man using hundreds of men semi-transparently. If you're on DMT or any other psychedelic, and you look at the mirror, your reflection will become clown-like as the persistence of the layers of your view are wavering, uh, of your wavering image. 
the cl- uh, the clowns range from funny to hideous. The uh, the symbol's meaning is neither hideous or ludicrous unless you take it too sit- seriously. It is a composite. The trickster is more than just a reflection of yourself visually. It is the layers of uh, desire, wisdom, and folly that you so represent. And then, so I res or after that quote that I that I shared, I um. Uh, wrote this. So, from what I gathered, he is a materialist and does not believe in the, any validi- uh, validity to the phenomenon such as synchronicity and believes psychedelics seem to cause more synchronicity only because we are in more resonant mind states and when we recognize patterns, it causes resonance to occur, making the experience seem meaningful. I'm still on the fence about this. I have had very impossible, impossibly synchronized experiences with DMT, which involved internal dialogues with voices, and the experience was systematically synchronized. And I just have a hard time buying that it was all just noise and meaningless, and it was, and it was just me being more, uh, more aware of patterns that I was seeing. I mentioned my experience to him, and he is confident that my experience can be explained by his views and what is happening. And I just can't accurately explain how bizarre and impossible my experience my experience was to anyone. And I'm talking about that I that I, that I told it to uh, Red Green Vine. So, uh, anyways, the problem I have with his explanation is that it's ignoring the obvious symbolic elements of. Uh, or uh, it is an, it is uh, ignoring the obvious symbolic symbolism of the elements. I will start with the checkered pattern thing, uh, as it is universal to the DMT experience. Looking at hyperspace depictions, it is um, it is it is um, abundantly clear that it that this plays a role in the experience. Here is an example. Now what amazes me is that it, its elements all seem to be way too conveniently paired in ways that seem to m- mimic our collective imagination of what jo- uh, the details a Joker has. We collectively seem to associate checkered, uh, checkered backgrounds with Jokers outside of the DMT trip as if we decided on its attributes as a collective. Just a simple search of uh, uh, Jester in Google and will show you exactly what I mean. And this is a, a an example of a few of that I that I saw just by searching that. Like it seems that we decide on the attributes of a Joker, and it magically shows up in the DMT flash with all the attributes I mentioned. Out of all the archetypes, the DMT psychedelic flash uh, chooses clowns. I find it almost too poetically coincidental that psychedelics are literally madness, schizophrenia, psychosis inducing as they've been labeled psychotomimetic drugs. Uh, A drug which uh, actions that mimic the symptoms of psychosis including delusions or delirium. As you know, we all associate clowns with madness. Just watch the, the, this small scene from Family Guy. I understand that materialists will look at this stuff and believe it is meaning, uh, just a meaningless coincidence and that my brain is just masturbating to patterns it thinks it's seeing. But my spidey, spen- my spidey senses just feel like something is up. I understand that others won't see it or feel it the same way that I do, but based on my investigations, the explanations we have available just don't seem to ma- wrap up this mystery. So what do you guys think? Are you happy with the above explanation, or do you need more? Personally, I don't know what to think. All, all I can do is just observe. Someone on my channel posted saying that he works with people who are bipolar and schizophrenic, and a lot of them saw clowns, apparently. So that's the end of the thread, and that'll sort of give us more substance to this debate, and uh, give us a sort of different side to work with so you know what do you guys think do you think that there's some sort of validity validity to um what he is saying or do you think that there is more going on and that we should investigate more hypothesis so just uh let me know what you think about that guys thanks for listening subscribe